Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. I'm Jason. Today, we're gonna do a couple of turkey breasts, because why not, man? I got them on sale. Today I got the ham on sale. Uh, I got I got these frozen from my local Kroger. Um, I guess they're trying to get rid of them. They've had them since Thanksgiving, and since they've been frozen, they're still good. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, season them up, put them on the pit barrel cooker, because from what I heard, along with being a rib machine, the pit barrel cooker is also a poultry machine. So let's go ahead and smoke these bad boys. So I'm just go ahead and uh, trim off this little bit of excess skin here. So don't think we're gonna need that. No, no more bananas, baby. And then we're gonna cut this one off too. And of course, I'm gonna use the dos pendejos because it is for chicken, specifically made for chicken. So, we'll have to get some more at the that, store, um, okay, baby? Yeah, but we'll get some more at the store, okay? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and season this up real quick. Let me take this glove off so I have a clean hand. Because when I'm working with poultry, I always want to wear a glove. Because poultries are more dangerous than anything when it comes to germs. Okay, so I'm going to just season this up real good. Well, that pours out really good, don't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just going to be real liberal with it, folks. This Dos Pendejos is so good, man. It's just going to bring so much flavor to this turkey breast. Then I'm going to also season the inside of the cavity. Get that nice and seasoned up. Start on the second one here. Man, just the smell of this rub alone, man, is amazing. I love the color of it, too. Provides such a great color. Unlike I got with my uh, seasoned salt. <laughs> I'm just go ahead and get the cavity, too, as well, on this one. Oh, missed the spot right there. All right, folks. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to hang it, but I don't have the proper tool that you're supposed to with the turkey and chicken to hang it. But uh, I'm going to try to do the hook method and see if that works. And um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have some success. I'll meet y'all out at the smoker. All right, folks. Uh, I went ahead and hooked them uh, through the breastbone. I'm hoping that's going to work. I just used a single hook. Um, so let's cross our fingers that, uh, that works for us, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on now. Well, I've already got it on and, um, I don't know exactly how long this is going to take. I'm gonna guess around two, two and a half hours. This is actually still partially frozen. I've had it thawing out for three days in my fridge, but my, my fridge is so badass that after three days, this, this is still kind of frozen. So, but we'll see how it works out. Um, all right, I'll see y'all back here, uh, in a couple hours after it's done. And then we'll cut into it and see how she tastes. I'll see y'all here in a little bit. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, it took, uh, I was right. It took about two, two hours, um, a little less than two and a half hours. But um, I just temped it out at 170. And uh, I forgot to mention out there, but I was cooking with some maple wood. So let's go ahead and cut into this and let's see how she did. Yeah, go ahead and get a shot of that real quick. Doesn't that look beautiful, folks? All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut into this best I can. Oh, it's going to get stand up for me. Start right here. There you go, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There's my knife skills for you. <laughs> Man, that is juicy as ever. I don't know if y'all can tell how juicy that is, but there's a ton of juice in there, man. And if y'all see how wet that meat is, that's all juice, baby. Come on, folks. You know this. You know this looks delicious. Try this breast meat right here. Mm. 
There you go, folks. Barbecue turkey on the pit barrel cooker. Let's uh, let's bite into this, shall we? See how we did. Take a bite. All right, folks. Here we go. Barbecue turkey pit barrel cooker. Never done it before. Yum. Well, the turkeys I've made, I've done so many in my Weber, I can't even count. This that Weber doesn't touch this man, and it's it's not because it's not because I'm some great cook, and I'm or because I'm some awesome cook. The pit barrel cooker does all the work for me, man. I've never, honestly, in my life, I've I've never tasted anything this delicious as, as far as turkey goes. But maybe fried turkey. Fried turkey is awesome too, man. It's hard to beat fried turkey. But this right here, folks, this is fantastic, man. Uh, James, that uh, that those pendejos rub, it goes perfect with this turkey, man. Um, this was the best turkey I've ever done. The best turkey I've ever tasted. Listen, folks, I appreciate y'all watching today. I appreciate y'all always coming back to support my channel. For those of you who are new, who may who may uh, not uh, excuse me, subscribed, uh, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video and hit that notification bell too, man, so you'll know when I put videos out. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, y'all have a blessed day. And remember, always keep it simple.